This is the kind of weather where it just tugs on your steering wheel. You're white knuckling it. And it's also incredibly difficult to see uh, ahead of you, even sometimes 20 feet ahead of you. It's very hard to see when the rain is coming down so heavily. We want to see what it looks like at the airport right now. So it does look like here. The storms right now moving right over Hartsville Jackson International as we speak. So there's that camera. You see it there, uh, how things are looking at the airport. This camera here in particular is pretty stable. It usually doesn't shake very much, but you can see it kind of trembling. That's how strong the winds are right now. The winds there trembling that camera at Hartsville Jackson International. And I'm pretty sure any camera we pull up in Metro Atlanta looks like this right now, blinding rain with that lightning, with the strong damaging winds. Uh, Rodney, I know you're getting the very latest here. Very, we've got severe thunderstorm yeah. warnings for almost all of Atlanta. Still watching Meriwether County for tornado, mm -hmm. confirmed tornado, just a very active afternoon. Yeah, so some new information, uh, Jim. We're gonna go back up into Metro Atlanta. First of all, just got another message from the National Weather Service, and you've been saying this, but very dangerous winds moving through Atlanta as we speak, even though you're not under a tornado warning. These are winds that are up to 60 miles per hour, which is why we are under a severe okay. thunderstorm warning. So if you are in DeKalb County right now, if you are in Lithonia, if you are in Tucker, if you are in Stone Mountain, uh, brace yourself for those stronger winds that are starting to move in. Also, Jen, a brand new severe thunderstorm warning has been extended eastward. So I'm going to pop up some of the counties that have been issued uh, under this warning. Severe thunderstorm warning for Jackson County until 445. That also includes uh, Gwinnett County and Hall County and the northern portions of Forsyth County in addition to Banks County. We'll track this toward the east at about 55 miles per hour because Jen, these are the storms that are producing the uh, damaging winds as they move toward the east. And this is in Metro Atlanta. It's in the city of Atlanta, but as you can see, it extends even further north than there. So for those of you in East Georgia, even extending over into the Athens area of UGA, uh, just a heads up to you, that's moving your way. Some strong winds in addition to the heavy rain. Uh, Lilburn at 403, Lawrenceville at 410. It's 401 right now for perspective. Uh, Decula 413, very strong winds headed your way. Grayson at 415, Commerce at 423 and Jefferson at 423 as well. Again, for us in Metro Atlanta, it is a significant wind threat, even though we're not under a tornado warning, uh, but that tornado warning does continue for Meriwether County, Jen. Yeah, and I wanna, uh, the tornado warning has been extended. It's now Meriwether, Pike, and Spalding County. So Meriwether, you've been under this tornado warning. It has now been extended into Pike and Spalding counties. This is until 445. Again, this is a confirmed tornado. When you see the purple box, Confirmed tornado on the ground. Meriwether, Pike, Spalding County until 445. Get to your safe spot immediately. Confirmed tornado on the ground. And this is a very fast moving tornado moving east at 50 miles an hour. Rotation, very obvious on radar here where you see the greens and the reds tracking that for you. Heading towards Brooks here at 419. Williamson at 421. Zebulon 423. Griffin, we've been tracking this way before it's even getting that way, but Griffin heading to you very shortly. Again, confirmed tornado on the ground. So now that tornado warning has been extended into Pike County and Spalding County until 445. Want to show you exactly where this tornado is here. So Luthersville Road near Callaway Road, Bill Todd Road, Alvaton Road, tornado on the ground, big tornado on the ground, moving quickly to the east. So Rodney just circled it. Confirmed tornado here south of Gardner Road, Road, Bill Todd Road, near Worcester Calloway Road. And again, moving east towards 75, towards Griffin, towards Spalding County. So this is moving towards uh, Adam Merriweather into Spalding County, Pike County, where we do have that tornado warning. So Spalding County here, Pike County here, Merriweather County is where that tornado is located right now. But we issue these warnings ahead of the storm. So although it is currently in Merriweather County, it is moving into uh, Pike County and into Spalding County. 
Let's check the debris here, Rodney. We also have a tool on the radar where we can actually put a uh, look for debris, which basically the radar beam here scans the skies and looks for debris here in the sky from a possible tornado. And there it is, Luthersville Road. This is what we call a debris signature. So we're looking, and it's exactly where the tornado is located. Yeah, when you see the tornado on radar and then you change it to look for the debris that's flying through the sky, literally they're right on top of each other. It doesn't get more confirmed than this. So not only do we have a confirmed tornado on the ground, but this is confirming that we have debris flying through the sky right now. And this is moving quickly to the east at 50 miles an hour. So debris in the sky, that means damage, whether it be shingles, tree limbs, whatever it may be, things are flying in the sky from this confirmed tornado as it moves out of Meriwether County into Pike County and Spalding County. This is right over Callaway Road, Garner Road, Bill Todd Road, Alps Road. Again, this is debris floating, flying in the sky from this potentially very strong, and in this case, I think it's safe to say a damaging tornado, destructive tornado as it picks up debris and is just hurling it here as it moves east. And this has been on the ground. We've been watching these. They've been on the ground ever since they've been through Alabama. Maybe they've weakened time and again, but then they come back. Patrick, you... I'm getting a report from Fred at the airport. Okay. Uh, peak wind, 56 miles per hour. Uh, so that's some strong wind. We were talking about that warning, uh, those severe thunderstorm winds up to 60. Mm -hmm. 56 that is doing some damage heavy rain out there moving across metro atlanta right now and we're continuing to see uh, this rain come down in droves it is coming down very heavy uh, we're at four o'clock folks are about to get on the roads if they weren't picking up their kids already the folks are about to start getting off work and uh, on top of the tornado warning that we're tracking and all of the severe thunderstorm warnings we have heavy rain that's going to cause some ponding on those roadways want to make sure that folks are being very cautious as they're getting out this evening i want to take a look at something that I like to call our button that shows us all of our threats. Um, and we can d dive into these separate thunderstorms. Obviously, we know we're tracking that tornado worn cell, but we can look and see where the hail is largest. And we're picking up on some of that large hail right now. We can zoom in a little bit further and tell you exactly some of the neighborhoods that it's fallen over. And that is uh, moving over Bear Creek Road towards uh, Gordon Road, Rock House Road, and Luther Bailey Road, heading towards Sononia. Uh, also picking up on some heavy rain, uh, hail near Garner Road. Let's see if we can get some of this in uh, the metro. We can get a better idea of where some of that heavier rain and some of the stronger hail, some of the larger hail. The hail is a little bit smaller moving through Jewett Hills and, and Tucker and uh, Lilburn. So that's not our major concern here. But what we are concerned about here is the heavy rain and of course, those strong winds that have been gusting roughly at about uh, 50 to 60 miles per hour. We can take a look at our counties uh, by county power outage maps and the brighter the colors, the more folks that are out of power right now. And we go to, uh, we can call, we can call up Troop County right now and look at the percentage. Roughly 20% of households in Troop County are without power right now. That's one of our hardest hit communities right now where we've had that confirmed report of a tornado, Jen, and 20% of folks in that area have no power right now. Yeah, and we're getting reports that 20%, it's 5,400 customers wow. without power right now in Troop County. We're also getting reports here, so I'm gonna look off screen here for a minute because again, this is how we get a lot of our information, our eyes and ears on the ground. We're using the radar here for potential, and Rodney, why don't you zoom into Meriwether County as I read some of these reports, because that's where we have a confirmed tornado, Meriwether County, but also want to let you know that the emergency manager in DeKalb County is saying that there was a tornado spotted on the ground at Caldwell Road and Wet, uh, Redding Road. So again, we're going to have to assess that near Brookhaven that people are spotting or did spot a tornado on the ground in DeKalb County in the Brookhaven area. So Meriwether County, that is where we have our tornado warning and I really want to dive into this here because obviously a very dangerous situation we showed you the debris signature we showed you the rotation here and we're going to continue to watch this for you for as long as it is on the ground so we're watching the rotation here uh, certainly doesn't look as impressive as it did uh, 
we're still seeing the possible rotation. It's just not as strong. So this could mean a couple things. It's weakening. It may have lifted up. Uh, the center of circulation is broadening. All of those things are trending in the right direction. That's what we want to see. You don't want to see that bright green, that bright red right next to each other. So certainly we're seeing some improvement. But again, blinding rain, strong damaging winds with this storm here as it does continue to move to the east through Meriwether County, moving closer into Pike County and Spalding County, where we do have a tornado warning in place right now. So we see this looks like it's weakening a little. I'm still seeing rotation. But it is looks like it's at least broadening out a little bit. Let's put the debris uh, ball, the debris signature back on top here, Rodney, and see if things are looking a little better here. And we're it's not as easy it's to not see as the debris. Correct. So, and what you're looking for when we, uh, the debris signature, and earlier we saw very bright colors there. Um, whenever those colors are super bright, it basically stands out. In fact, Jim, what I'll do, I'll just give you a loop so you can get an idea of what it looked like mm -hmm. 30 minutes ago. But when it's not as pronounced as it was earlier, uh, that yeah. is where we are starting to see uh, what could be some weakening here. There, okay, so there is a step-by-step, -step, Jan, uh, image of the debris and over Highway 74. Yeah, when we were watching it, it looked like this. When, right. I mean, there was a tornado on the ground. And then, as you said, Rodney, weakening as it moves east. So these are... Good things. We're looking for the good things here. So certainly could still see a tornado on the ground. Stay in your safe spot in Meriwether County, Pike County, uh, as this system, because even though we're seeing a broader center of circulation, although it is weakening on radar, it doesn't mean it could intensify or spin up just as quickly as it is starting to weaken. So we're looking at here a 10% chance of hail within this storm. 10% chance of severe hail, fairly small hail, and the BTI is what we look at. The lower the number, the weaker the rotation. It goes up to 10. So once you start getting numbers like 7, 8, 9, 10, that is a confirmed fairly large tornado. So what this is telling me, all these tools put together, is that there may still be a tornado on the ground, but it is currently weakening or that center of circulation is broadening. So those things make this a uh, weaken as it moves through the area. At a minimum, though, we're seeing very strong winds, heavy rain here as this continues to move east. This is just south of Sonoy, and this is moving towards Wolsey, Hampton, Griffin, Spalding County. You are under a tornado warning. As soon as it is safe to get out of the lowest level of your home, the bottom story of your home or a closet, a bathroom, an interior room without any windows. We will give you the all clear as soon as it is safe to do so. But as of now, you are under a tornado emergency for this confirmed tornado moving out of Meriwether into Pike and Spalding County here uh, very quickly to the east at about 50 miles an hour. This is just south of Sonoy. Again, this is where we have that possible circulation here. This is Zebulon, so just northwest of Zebulon. This is Griffin, 19, just west of Griffin. If you have friends and family in the city of Griffin in Spalding County, please text them. I would text them if I could. If I had all of their numbers, I would do it myself. But this is the best I've got is just doing it right here on TV for you. If you can do that for me, text your friends in Griffin, your family, let them know they need to go to their safe spot immediately. This tornado, confirmed tornado, heading towards Williamson at 419. Griffin, again, 427 towards Griffin. Orchard Hill at 428. Jackson at 445. Then towards Monticello just after five o'clock for a confirmed tornado on the ground. Rodney, this is a mess out here. Yeah, it is indeed, Jen. This is a, a, a certainly something that we have been telling you about for the last several days. We were concerned with this. And just to kind of set the stage, uh, we had a very unusual day. You know that temperatures were near 70 degrees. It's super humid outdoors and it's really a more spring like pattern. So that's fuel for storms. And that's why we are seeing uh, these spin ups. Uh, and there have been a variety of them. Some of them have uh, come up very quickly and gone away. But Jen, when we came on, we were tracking the activity moving in a troop in Meriwether County. And those were long track tornadoes, it appears to be, that came um, out of Alabama. Jim, what I want to do real quick is go back up to Atlanta. Uh, we are not under a tornado warning here, but just to give you an idea, we are still seeing some very strong winds that are moving east at about 55 miles per hour. I will say if you are watching in Atlanta right now in Cobb County, the worst is over for you. Uh, for like the rest of the day. You're going to continue to see some rain for a little while. Cobb County, the worst is over. 
Douglas County, the worst is over. Atlanta, the worst is over. However, Lithonia and DeKalb County, I'm going to zoom in for you. Uh, strong winds moving your way as we speak. Up in Gwinnett County, Snellville, you are under a severe thunderstorm warning for 60 mile per hour winds headed your way. Lawrenceville, Decula, those winds are headed your way. As we slide a little bit further toward the north, Gainesville, you are in it right now. It's getting ready to move away from you. But for those of you in Jefferson, uh, a heads up to you. Winder, those winds have not hit you yet and they're moving your way. So I'm going to track this to the east at about 55 miles per hour and then we'll get back to the tornado warning. But I we do have want a brand you to new know. tornado warning, Rodney. So let's brand new tornado warning. Clayton, Henry, oh, wow. Newton and Rockdale County. Again, a new tornado warning. And this is what we've been talking about. These storms, we watch these tornadoes develop and then they weaken, but we get a new one just like that very quickly. So brand new tornado warning. And again, this is for Clayton County, does include Clayton County. This is near the Stockbridge area. This is moving east. And I'm looking off for a minute here. This is for Clayton, Henry, Newton, and Rockdale County. This is until... Moving east at 40 till 445, 445. So till 445 here for a possible tornado very close to the Jonesboro area. Again, moving to the east very quickly, 40 to 50 miles an hour. This does include Henry County. This does include Clayton County here, very close to Jonesboro. And what we've seen is some fairly strong tornadoes. These are stronger than the ones we had last week. Last week, the confirmed tornadoes were EF zeros, EF ones. <laughs> 80 mile an hour wind. So we are seeing some stronger tornadoes. Not only that, they're staying on the ground for longer periods of time. So this is a very different situation compared to the tornadoes we had just last week. This is why we issued a first alert weather day. As soon as we knew we had the potential of tornadoes, severe weather during the afternoon, we sent that first alert and then this transitioned into a first alert weather day as soon as everything was evolving to be a potentially dangerous situation and that's exactly what's happening right now again new tornado warning this does include portions of metro atlanta does include henry county this is for the southern metro for a possible tornado on the ground very close to the city of jonesboro moving very quickly want to zoom in here so we can show you exactly where this tornado is located near briargate 138 in the city of jonesboro so and this is moving quickly Jim. like as so soon fast. as i I zoomed in this rotation wow. uh, yeah. moved almost into far east Clayton County. Which is why we say don't wait until the tornado is over. These are incredibly fast moving tornadoes, incredibly fast moving storms. The pros are that it will move out quickly. So it moves in, it moves out quickly. That's certainly an advantage. The cons is you don't have a lot of time. Mm. Once the tornado's there, it is there. So you need to get to your safe spot before it arrives. These are very fast moving tornadoes and they are roaring to the east, anywhere between 40 to 50 to 55 miles an hour. This one here, this is I-75. I-75 here near Fielder Road, near Walt Stevens Road. This is approaching Stockbridge. Again, I-75, there are likely lots and lots and lots of cars right now on I-75 here. We're talking about the afternoon rush hour. And Patrick, you're tracking this as well. Yeah, I was looking at that cell that we were just pointing out. There's a mobile home park right there in the line of where this tornado warned cell is moving. So if you were there, you need to get to a safe place. If there's a house down the street, I mean, this is a little bit of ways away from you. You have five minutes to get out of your house, get into a car and drive east. Do not drive west. You need to get out of the line of this. You need to find a steady structure, whether that is a grocery store, a church, knock on the door. That mobile home park is not the place to be with this tornado warned cell. And those winds were very strong. I don't know if you noticed it, but Rodney actually queried those uh, winds along that line. And even if, because this one is blinking red. So this lets us know that this is a radar indicated tornado, but not a radar confirmed. So at the very minimum, we have nearly 60 miles per hour wind gusts headed towards this area that's going to move through uh, not only these communities, but also that mobile home park. Th that's enough to do some damage out there. So you want to be in a status structure. You have about five minutes to get out of the door and get to that place uh, so that you and your family can stay safe as we're tracking. Yeah, that's uh, 50 plus miles per hour wind gusts embedded here with a rotational signature that's pretty significant, Jen. It it's pretty significant. It's pretty significant. And that's what we've seen really throughout the entire afternoon. And unfortunately, we report on these tornadoes time and time and time again. 
And when you look at who gets the worst damage, it's those mobile home communities. These homes are not, they don't have the foundation. They're not held to the ground. And when you have a tornado of 80, 90, 100 plus mile an hour winds, that's no competition for these incredibly strong tornadoes. So a mobile home, we always talk about the interior room, the basement, the lowest level. There is no safe spot inside a mobile home, which is why Patrick was saying you need to get out of the mobile home before the tornado arrives. And again, these are very fast moving tornadoes, so you need to get out ahead of it if you are in the path of this confirmed tornado. This is Jonesboro, 19. Again, we showed you I-75. This tornado is about to cross over I-75 here, heading towards Stockbridge. You need to get to your safe spot immediately. We will clear you as soon as it is safe to do so. This is moving east here towards Porterdale at 451. Mansfield at 506. New Bern right around 509. This tornado is moving very quickly. This entire system has a history of producing several tornadoes, not only in Georgia, but in Alabama and really all over our West here as this moved closer. Strong damaging winds. I think the damage reports, they're already coming in quickly. Trees down, power lines down, power outages. More than 20% of the people in Troop County have no power right now. Think about that, 20%. One in five homes does not have power in Troop County right now. Also getting power outages. This in DeKalb County from DeKalb EOC, nearly 1,500 people without power in DeKalb County. DeKalb County isn't even in that tornado warning. DeKalb County, as far as we know, has not had a tornado. But even the rain and the strong damaging winds they are enough to talk, knock over these trees, these power lines. So even if you were not under one of these tornado warnings, you are getting damage and we are getting reports of power outages. In fact, fairly significant power outages in Cobb County. 6,500 people. Is this for Cobb, Rodney, or Fulton? Uh, 65,000. That is Cobb. 5,000 down in LaGrange. Okay. Uh, and 1,000 in Atlanta. Uh, Patrick just pointing out these greens that you see, definitely, Patrick, uh, those higher numbers. Mm -hmm. Higher numbers. And for Fulton County, can we query Fulton County? 9,000. 9,000 people without power in Fulton County. So you combine Cobb, Fulton, and this is just DeKalb. And keep in mind, DeKalb hasn't even, it's not even over yeah. DeKalb mm -hmm. yet. We're looking at more than 15,000 people without power right now in Fulton Cobb in DeKalb. And again, that is even putting the tornadoes aside because many of these areas didn't necessarily get a tornado. But the, I mean, when you look at this line here, look at this. And what we look for, when you see the bright pink, you look at how close together the pink is to the green. So you see the color goes from green, yellow, pink, red, magenta. When it's very close like that, that tells us there are incredibly strong winds along this line, damaging winds along this line here. So this is a very dangerous situation, even here through the metro area as this crosses over the east wall of 285. We're going to track this because we're talking about straight line damaging winds right here on the east side of the perimeter. McDonough, 423. Loganville, also at 423. Conyers area, 427. This is when the strongest winds will be over your area. Bethlehem, 431. Jackson, 434. Arcade at 435. Please stay inside. Do not go outdoors. Wait until this storm passes. I promise it is moving quickly. That is the good news. At least it's moving quickly. But until it's out of here, we cannot get out of our safe spots. And certainly we cannot... Uh, turn our minds off to what is happening right now. Jonesboro, again, we have tornado warning for Jonesboro, right over 19 here, heading towards Stockbridge, now moving through the Stockbridge here, again, moving very quickly. This updates with every radar, scans the sky, does a circle here, and we get the updated look at how the radar is looking. Rodney, we're getting so many reports of damage, so many reports of power outages. Just a very dynamic situation. Oh, and now we have a TDS, Rodney. Yeah, this is Patrick just north just of Williamson. This, this is a, by far the most dangerous on the map right now. Yeah. yeah. And heading towards Griffin. This Griffin. is the same one we've yeah, been tracking. Yeah, same one. It's, just, it's, it's tight. That, it's that rotation tiny. is tight. And, and this is what we've been saying. It weakens, but you can't let your guard down because then it tightens once again. And again, this is north of Williamson. 
and and moving towards Spalding County and Griffin, Griffin. And, and it's the one we've been watching Patrick it, it is very impressive I actually want to zoom in a little bit more we need to get some streets uh, in that area man uh, BTI that seven that's the highest, highest BTI that we've seen so far actually all day all the day. ones that were in uh, Arkansas that was six so this is this is something that is very impressive very concerning new Newman Road uh, Noonan Road uh, M uh, Malloy Road Canaan Court Bethel Lane all of this area folks you need to be in place uh, this is going to be just south of Zatella southeast and east of Zatella south of Esma we're talking about a very tight very aggressive very strong rotational signature that we're seeing pop up on radar these colors are very vibrant the brighter the green the stronger stronger the winds. The deeper the reds, the stronger the winds. They're moving in opposite directions. I want to actually, if I can get my bar back, I know that it's a little off, but I want to, oh, that's what I wanted, Rodney. I wanted the gate to gate. I saw 73 and another number. Goodness, that's, that's going to put us over 100. So that's 60. Hold on. Uh, 70, uh, 70 miles per hour wind gusts at a bare minimum. And then if we could query some of that red, uh, 37, 46. This is roughly 115, 120. 82 just south of the road. So this is Goodness. by far the strongest one. Yeah, so we're talking about some serious rotation because there was a negative 70 and a positive 80. That's given me 150 gate to gate wind shear uh, crossing over Noonan Road uh, headed into the, the, the intersection of uh, North Pine Hill Road, Abbey Road. That rotation is crossing. Can we track this out, Rodney, towards experimenting a little bit further? Highland Mills, uh, this is a very aggressive uh, rotational signature, uh, folks. If you're in Highland Mills, Griffin, uh, East Griffin, Walker Mill, you need to be in your safe place. Even though this polygon ends here, what the day has taught us that this is not over. So if you're anywhere downwind, Locust Grove, Jenkinsburg, you need to be sheltered in place in that lower level of your house, whether that is a basement, a closet, an interior room, a bathroom, you need to be away from all of those exterior doors and windows. You don't wanna be in the front room, the living room, you don't wanna be in the back in the kitchen near the window. You need to be bubbled down, grab your phone, Take your first alert weather app with you. Listen, we're not stopping this. We've been streaming for almost an hour and a half, and we're going to continue to do this until this system clears all of our viewers. I know that some folks in Metro Atlanta are maybe wondering why we're not out of this, and that's because what we have is a, a particularly dangerous situation unfolding with this signature that we're seeing approaching Griffin. Griffin, um, big city. Mm. I mean, there are a lot of people live in Griffin here, so we are moving towards Griffin. Again, confirmed tornado. This is Spalding County. I know there are several counties in this tornado warning. Sometimes it's hard to keep up. The one we are most concerned about right now, Spalding County, southwest of Griffin. If you are in Griffin, get your safe spot immediately. This tornado is a confirmed tornado on the ground, and it looks incredibly strong strong and powerful. This is not a weak tornado. You need to go to your safe spot now. These winds are incredibly strong here and we're seeing very well defined rotation moving through Spalding County right now. Confirmed tornado. This is until 445 and let's put the debris on this Rodney. This is right over and approaching the city of Whoa, Whoa. look at that. Yeah, that's, this, that's that. huge right there. So that's a tornado. That's that, no, is, that, that is, is a, a tornado, tornado is on the ground. On the ground approaching Spalding very high County. into the atmosphere. So again, as we're saying, a couple things we're seeing with this tornado. Looking at the velocity, we see how incredibly strong it is. When you see blue, not only are we seeing a lot of debris way up in the atmosphere, we're seeing large debris. Mm. So the stronger the tornado, the larger the debris. So that's not lawn chairs. We're talking about roofs, possibly, in the air right now in Spalding County approaching Griffin. And as meteorologists, we do this all the time. Your heart sinks mm. when you see this because you know what is happening on the ground right now and you know what it feels like for these people who are hearing this right now. It's just devastating. And it's right racing. Now, it's racing. It is moving so quickly. They're going to have to extend that so polygon. Quickly. Folks in Pomona, Pomona this is uh, Locust Grove, this is moving very fast. fast. Do not wait for the alert on your phone to get to your safe place, folks. Sometimes uh, these warnings will come down very quickly like we've seen some of them yeah. over the last. You gotta get there now. Yeah, right now. And again, Griffin, this is right over the city of Griffin. Right now, confirmed tornado on the ground. We're gonna start seeing some of these images, unfortunately, coming from this. But not only are we seeing a very strong, destructive tornado on the ground right now, but we are seeing the debris in the sky 
from this tornado, what it's causing here. Locust Grove, this is heading your way at 438. Jenkinsburg, 442. Jackson at 446. Shady Dale, 513. I know we keep zooming in. We keep showing you these cities because it is imperative that you know exactly where this is located. It is imperative that you and your family, your neighbors, your friends, your loved ones are safe. Confirmed, strong, I'm going to say strong yeah. tornado. You don't get this kind of debris from a weak tornado. This is a strong, powerful tornado on the ground right now in Spalding County, moving over the city of Griffin, McIntosh Road, Old Atlanta Road, Pine View Road, Experiment, the city of Experiment. Again, debris flying through the sky here. All of our tools, we layer them on top of each other to show you exactly what's happening on the ground and certainly we have debris flying through the sky. Does look mm. a little better when you start seeing less blue, but I mean, this, this is big. This is big, Patrick, this is very, a very big. large area. Highland Mills experiment. This is moving towards the northeast. This is, this is very, very strong. Very, very strong, uh, very, very buoyant atmosphere, very, very juicy, uh, very strong winds. Unfortunately, we're getting uh, radar hints at the damage that this is causing, and uh, we're already sending our crews out there. So, of course, um, we're going to have some live coverage for this. Uh, we got to give them time to get there safely, of course. Uh, folks, if you're anywhere in this area, if we could zoom out just a little bit, because I know that warning box hasn't been extended, uh, but at the very minimum, uh, oh, it looks like it has been extended, maybe as a severe thunderstorm warning. We're going to have some strong winds, and I, and I highly suggest that we probably see this Extend. extended it at will least be exp it's, as a They have to warning. extend it's, this. It's just a little bit too aggressive here. Uh, Locust Grove, Jenkins, uh, this is moving in your general direction. It's moving in an east-northeast direction, looks like it, uh, but it's moving fast. Uh, folks, so if you're anywhere out ahead of this, I would even tell folks that are in Jackson to be on alert, already have everybody kind of in the central place so that if this does get a little bit closer to your home, even though it looks to be missing you a little bit, if it moves into your neighborhood, you're already all assembled and you can move to that safe place, have that safe place already mapped out and have that first alert weather. Listen, we've been yeah. saying first alert yeah. all week for yeah. the last few days, and this is why we first alert. And although we don't have a tornado warning yet, if you are in Butts County, I am giving you that warning. You need to go to your safe spot right now. There is a very destructive strong tornado on the ground moving through Spalding County, and this will be extended here into Butts County. Go to your safe spot right now. This storm is moving quickly to the east towards Butts County, currently in Spalding County, and I need you to be safe and get to that safe spot right now as this approaches your area. Moving very quickly towards Locust Grove. It's going to be there in minutes. Jenkinsburg at 441, Jackson at 445, Shady Dale at 512. Again, a very strong, destructive tornado on the ground right now in Spalding County, right over the city of Griffin. And we're still seeing the circulation there, Rodney, as this continues to move towards Pleasant Grove, towards Amelia Road, towards McDonough Road, and we're still picking up the debris. So 75. it's not as still. 75. Like, folks need to avoid 75 right yeah, now. Yeah, definitely it's, get it's off the roads. Yeah, folks that are heading south. And, and we're still seeing that I'm, debris. I'm, uh, I'm stepping through our debris debris detector here frame by frame to give you an idea of where the debris was its strongest over experiment and Highland Mills. This was definitely a tornado. As Jen mentioned, this is basically telling us that blue, that stuff was literally in the air uh, because of this. But I'm going to continue to step this forward. I'm going to go frame by frame. You can see it's there, Jen. It has weakened. You're not seeing that blue anymore like you were seeing over Highland Mills and experiment, but it is still definitely there. Uh, so a very dangerous situation there, uh, even though uh, in the last like two frames when I'm counting, Jen, uh, the debris starting to come down a little bit, but that's still clearly uh, you can see that against everything else. Yeah, and mark my words, unfortunately, we're going to have to send a crew to experiment in Spalding County. I think we're going to see quite a bit of damage, unfortunately, over that area because this type of tornado 
doesn't go over an area, create a debris ball like that on radar, and it not create extensive damage. This really reminds me of the tornado we had in Coweta County in Noonan. That one was in the middle of the night after 11.30 p.m. We were wall to wall with that one. We had to wait for the sun to come up the following day to see the kind of damage it caused, but we saw debris signatures similar to what we're seeing this afternoon. So uh, very reminiscent of what we experienced not too long ago in Coweta County in in the city of Noonan, and now we're seeing it in Spalding County. Yeah, and, and near the city of and still looking at this gate to gate shear. So we look at these numbers again, and we see the the strength, possibly a very strong tornado on the ground near Griffin. And let's put that BTI. They were asking earlier. The producer was saying, "What's BTI? The Barron Tornado, tornado Index. Index. I think that's what the acronym stands for. Basically, it's a tool we have that we can query this particular storm, and it will tell us." the likelihood of it being a tornado on the ground. Because again, a lot of times these are radar indicated tornadoes. Today is a very different story. We're actually getting reports of tornadoes, spotted tornadoes on the ground. But many times we do have to use radar. So the BTI of this one, again, it's the Barron Tornado Index is 6.1, which is still high. And we are telling you a tornado is on the ground, but that's just another tool we use. Oh, to, and there's another one, rotation. Again, this is what we look for here. This is our radar basically screaming at us, telling us a tornado's on the ground, which we have been saying here for quite some time here. We've been seeing it with our eyes here, dissecting it for ourselves. And certainly there are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There is a tornado on the ground. Extended, and now extend this exactly what we were talking about into Butts County. So this is the same tornado that moved through Spalding County. Remember I said, get to your safe spot, even though there's not technically a warning in Butts County because there will be a warning in Butts County. And look, five to 10 minutes later, there's that warning in Butts County. That is a first alert, giving you that warning before the National Weather Service does. This storm moving east here, Locust Grove, Jenkinsburg, Jackson, tornado on the ground moving quickly. This tornado, not only is it strong, but it is creating damage and it is moving quickly. So you don't have time to react. You have to go to your safe spot before the tornado arrives. This is moving towards Locust Grove at 438, Jenkinsburg at 442, moving very quickly at 40 to 50 miles an hour. And this is purple, so confirmed tornado, which is what we have been saying. I mean, there's, and this is a fairly large tornado. Many times, especially in January in Georgia, we don't see these large, robust tornadoes. This is what we see in April, not mm. January. So this is what we typically see in April, which is the peak of our severe weather season, April into May. We're getting it in January. So this is a very dangerous situation here. Mm. We are sending our crews out to all of these areas. And as soon as we get these live pictures, as soon as it is safe to get there, we don't want to put our crews in harm's way, of course. As soon as it is safe to get there, we will give you live images to show you what it looks like on the ground. But for now, please know that a very dangerous situation moving through Spalding County to Butts County, yeah. there's the debris. This is not going, this has been on the ground County, but this has been on the ground for hours, three so and a half long, hours, so long. And, and again, there, there it is again. So we watched it weaken and then intensify quickly. This is a long track tornado and a strong, powerful tornado here moving into Butts County. Not, and we keep talking about tornado because that is the most devastating part of it. We're seeing hail in these storms, strong damage winds, obviously, very heavy rain. We're seeing lots of lightning as well as we have storms moving into McDonough, Locust Grove. Again, tornado warning for a confirmed tornado. This is in Spalding County. Rodney, we don't see this very often in Georgia, let alone in January. Yeah, and you were talking about the setup, Jen, and how, again, we're just talking about an air mass that's more typical of spring than it is of what we're seeing in January. I want to zoom in, Jen, just west of Locust Grove again. What we're doing here is giving you an analysis frame by frame on first alert radar because this stuff is moving very uh, quickly toward the north and east. So I'm going to put the wind back on here. We've been clocking several hours. Look at that, Patrick, that's 70 
miles per hour. That's mm. one of the stronger winds that we have seen. So for a lot of these storms that we've been tracking for you this afternoon, Goodness. I would say, Patrick, the winds like 40 to 50 is yeah. what we've been clocking. But this particular tornado, 70, and I actually saw an 80 about five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. That's not there. But that's another sign that this is a particularly stronger storm. They also added a considerable tag to the threat uh, on the tornado warning, which mm. is just another tool that we can use to let you know that this is a big deal as this particular rotation, Patrick, heads toward Jenkins. It is crazy, uh, Rodney. A very strong line of storms continuing to move through portions of the state of Georgia. Listen, we've been tracking this for over an hour and a half in our area, and we've been tracking this for a week or so coming, and we've been tracking this all day as this line has approached. And uh, just like Rodney just told you, this line is intensifying as it progresses towards the east northeast. We were tracking winds earlier this evening outside of the tornado worn cells that were gusting 40, 50, 60. Now we're getting 60, 70, 80, and this is moving towards the northeast. Uh, right now, our most dire concern, of course, is this tornado warning that we have been uh, essentially breaking down for folks. If I can get my toolbar back, Rodney, um, I can zoom into uh, that cell um, and get you guys a little bit more of some information on what I'm actually detecting embedded in this uh, tornado. So what I can do, let me zoom that out. What we can do here is we can switch. So one of our tools that allows us to dive into a lot of the things that are happening within that cell. And right here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some red. This is another one of our tools. We have a lot of tools at our disposal to pick up on thunderstorms that are rotating, tornado signatures. This is one of our tools that allows us to see that signature. And I'm going to zoom in because I need you to see the communities that this is over. Uh, this is a smoke road to Locust Grove. That's where that signature is tightest. Uh, this is going to be in the... Tawalega area. Uh, this is a very strong signature here. We can actually cross check that signature that we're seeing by going back to what we've been showing you all day, which is our velocity. Uh, we can also see, look for shear because that lets us know, well, that shear signature starting to move off towards, as we've been saying, this is racing. Looks like that's moving a little bit further towards the north and east. So what we'll do is dive into that.